Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to bring you 10 lesser known spots in the game to help you get more kills. These spots may not help you win more games necessarily, but they definitely will help you net kills, which can translate into more game wins overall. You don't need to be a crack shot to get kills in Hunt Showdown. Sometimes it's just about being somewhere where your opponents aren't looking or don't expect. I mean, obviously eventually you have to hit the shot, but in these locations you might get a few tries before the enemy knows where you are or what's happening. These spots are good for both solo and team play, but especially in solos, they can help you at least kill one or two to soften up a team and even out the number disadvantage. Let's get into it. The first spot that I want to show you is in Lawson Station, more specifically the ticket taker's room in the southern boss building on top of the door. It's pretty easy to get up here. You just use the music player on the desk to jump to the top of the door. The spot allows you to cover the window jump in, but it also has little windows that you can see into the main building through. Take a look at these clips from the shooter's POV. Even this view right here, I can't tell you how many times somebody walked into the ticket taker's room from inside and just got shot right in the back. Let's look at one more example. In this clip, you can see that they, they know I'm in this room, but they don't know exactly where I am. So they're shooting up the room, but they're just not hitting me. The next spot I'm going to show you is near Ma Battery, but more specifically the ruins outside of Ma Battery. If you watch this part right here, I'll show you how to get up there. Stealth and silent guns are really good in these situations, but uh, they're definitely not mandatory. And once again, you can see I'm sitting just in plain sight, but they just never see me. Now this might be my favorite spot on the list. This is the little tree outside of the chapel of Madonna Noir. If you've watched almost any amount of my content, you'll notice that I'm always sitting up in this tree and it just ends up making players look really silly because they just don't see you up there, even though, again, you're just in plain sight.
It's an example, too, where I'm not even using a silent weapon. Uh, I'm using a, a, quite a loud weapon, but they just still can't find me. And this is probably the craziest clip of them all. These guys have the bounty vision and still don't find me. And granted, I'd been memeing for a few days, so I was around the three-star range at this point, but still. For the record, this last guy was a 5 star. The next spot is just outside of Bradley Brickworks, uh, once again on top of another ruined structure. You're going to see a few more of these ruined structures in this video, don't at me. These guys ran maybe 20 or 30 meters towards me in broad daylight and just never saw me sitting there. You can see at the end there, she saw me, but it was just too late. This fight was kind of sad actually. I killed this player here, but then I fell off the ruin structure and their third player killed me with a bomb lance. These shots here are just kind of nasty, but I guess what I'm trying to show is that you can take a scope or you can take close range weapons and this spot is still just a good place to sit because a lot of people uh, walk by it and a lot of people jump out on this ledge in the boss building. What ended up happening here was I just softened them up and then my team finished them off. Another ruin structure and another one of my favorites. This is the ruin structure outside of Moses Poultry. You can use this spot to fight poultry from a distance, but you can also use it to wait for people who are entering Moses or heading to Kingsnake from Forked River and Weeping Stone.
They missed. They know where I'm at though. They're chasing you because they think you're me. Come on. Jesus. I killed oh one. my god, I killed another one. <laughs> now I'll bring you to Golden Acres at, you guessed it, another ruined structure. The structure overlooks the north side of the compound and players are always rotating in this line of sight. It's also a little tricky to get up, so watch for the next few seconds while I show you how to do it. You actually don't even need to get all the way up there. You can use this little window on the second floor of it, uh, but you are a little easier to see. And I included the clip here because of the disgusting Spitzer value. The next spot is at Hemlock and Hyde, and I'll give you a second to guess where it's at. Another ruined structure. I'm not even ashamed, these spots are just really good. There are a few different variations of the structures all around the map, but once you know how to get up one of them, you can replicate it at all similar structures. This one mimics the one we saw outside of Mob Battery, except in this particular one there's a, kind of a tree in the way and you have to wiggle around it. Alright. Number 8 is the ruin structure outside of Wolf's Head Arsenal. In this spot, you can very easily see the Fort Karmic roof and all of the south side area, but it's also great for catching people who are coming into Wolf's Head from basically anywhere on the east side. I don't actually have any clips of me killing anybody coming in from the east side, but you can take my word for it.
Got her. This next spot is at the edge of the map on the west and southwest side of Cypress Huts. You've probably all been here hundreds of times on the extract that spawns here. The spot is great to wait for teams who are extracting here, and it even works when the boss was at Cypress Huts because you're out of the scan range. I cannot tell you how many kills I've gotten from this spot or full teams that I've wiped and taken their bounty. The final spot is found in Nichols Prison, more specifically the little bookshelf that's located in the west side boss room. Most people don't know that you can get up here, and even fewer look for anyone up there. Watch for the next few seconds to see how to do it. Hope you guys found these spots helpful and you get to use them in your own games to get more kills. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing, and tell me in the comments if you'd like another one with even more spots. I promise I won't show you any more ruined structures. Have a good one.